Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. I'm afraid that once I tell you what I'm about to tell you, you'll think I'm crazy. But I'm going to tell you anyways. Please don't freak out or get mad at me. I am abandoning raising my rabbits in a colony for the foreseeable future. I have had colony rabbits for a long time, and I have loved the experience, and I still love it. But this current colony setup we have, you may recall, is really bad. There's nothing I can do to make it better. If my rabbits continue to live in this colony, they will eventually get really sick, and their babies will get sick, and we will probably have a repeat of last winter, which is something I want to avoid at all costs. As I mentioned in a previous video, because of this, I've been brainstorming other areas we could turn into a colony. We can't have deep bedding because that hasn't worked for us. We can't have a solid dirt floor because the dirt is too loose and I can't clean it properly. So I need a hard surface, either a really hard dirt surface or like a wooden surface or concrete or something like that. As I was brainstorming ideas, I thought of three possible places. I thought maybe somehow we could rabbit proof the goat barn because that has really good dirt floor that you can sweep up easily. But the more I thought about it, the weird it would be. I'd have to put wire down in some places so they couldn't dig out, but I couldn't bury it under anything. And then there'd be goats everywhere, stepping on kits possibly. And if I had wire on the bottom, I couldn't sweep properly. And especially with having Acrobat as part of our breeders, they would probably find some way to dig out because they couldn't put the wire very far. And the more I thought about the idea, the more problems I thought of. And I eventually scrapped the idea altogether. But that did leave me with two other places that would be perfect for a colony. Let me go show them to you. Okay, here is the first place. Oh, excuse me, I have really bad hiccups right now. So here is one of the two other places we could put rabbits. It's this concrete pad. That's kind of attached to our house. There's a deck above it, <laughs> but I was thinking if we just simply put some wire like from here to the top of the deck and f fenced in these three walls, the back one, the side, and the front, we could put a door here, we could put a door over there, and we would just sweep off the poop off of the concrete and it'd be a perfect colony. This last area may look very familiar to many of you. This is our deck. We've had rabbits on here in the past, and I would love to have rabbits on here again. Of course, we would have to make a few adjustments. You'd have to put wire in between the slats so that no more rabbits accidentally jumped off, like what happened to Ivanhoe and Ivy. I also want to put like maybe a strip of wire on top of the top of the railing so that they couldn't jump out because the railing's pretty low. You know, Acrobat, she would probably jump out in a heartbeat. But again, like the cement, it'd be super easy to just sweep the poop off of the wooden deck and keep a colony clean for lots of rabbits. Okay, we're back in the colony. Either of these options would be so perfect, right? But when I posed this idea to my family, they shot it down. Even though I'm allowed huge amounts of freedom with animals and animal housing, this is still technically my parents' house and my parents' farm. So they are the ultimate authorities on saying what is done and what is not done. Obviously, if I owned this property and the house and the deck, there will be rabbits in both areas right now, but because I can't use either of those ideal locations, I'm stuck with no good colony places. And the more I brainstormed, the more I realized I had to move the rabbits into a healthy, safe housing option that was not a colony at all. 
and I figured out that with the current number of meat rabbits we have, if I fix up all four of the available tractors we have, I can fit two breeders in each tractor and that will be their permanent housing. Last time we had more breeders and so I had to do three, sometimes four to a tractor and we learned together that that was too many. But I think two will be the perfect number because they won't be overcrowded, but then they'll also have a buddy to be with and snuggle with and love on and they won't be alone and sad. So most times of the year, moving rabbits to tractors would be as easy as that. But because it's winter time, there's a possibility of snow. You may remember, I think it was two years ago, our rabbit tractors and winter weather do not mix. The snow gets kicked onto the wire on the bottom and the poop starts building up because it can't fall through the wire anymore and it gets nasty and poopy and you can't clean it off because it's frozen onto the wire. So I had to think of some way to avoid that and it pains me greatly to say this. We're gonna put tractors up on cinder blocks and house our meat rabbits in pseudo cages. They're not regular cages. They're not like one hole per rabbit, tiny, restrictive, awful, but they technically are cages. They're wire contraptions off of the ground. Oh my gosh, that sounds so bad. But then the problem became where to place these tractor cages where the goats and Roxy couldn't mess with them and I was looking around and then I saw our pumpkin patch garden area that's fenced in no animal can get in and that actually could use some really good rabbit manure nutrients so the current long-term plan is to fix up and set up four tractors each on cinder blocks in the pumpkin patch and put two rabbits each in all of those tractors so I had my plan and that was a relief but I thought I had some time still to slowly work on it. I couldn't start on it right away because I burned my hand a few days ago pretty badly and it's all blistery and painful but I was like hey you know in like a week or two maybe I'll start on a tractor or two and then like by the end of the month I'll have all the rabbits moved out. But then I got the really strong impression you need to do it now. You need to do it today. You need to do it this morning because these rabbits are pregnant if you wait too long, they'll have babies in this bad colony. Then you'll have to wait for the babies to be old enough. Then you might not even know there are babies because they're in a burrow, so you might leave some litters behind. And I think it was the Holy Spirit telling me just to get a move on. And then I was thinking, I need to edit today. Can I like edit first and do this later? And he's like, no, do it right now. And then I was like, but I can't because I have a burned hand. So even if I wanted to like break my back and stay up all night to get all the tractors set up, I can't because I only have one workable hand. And then he was like, well, you have an empty hutch and you can split the Angora's cage in half and you have two working tractors. So with those two tractors that work and the two hutches taking the places of the other two tractors that aren't ready for rabbits yet, you can temporarily house them all outside the colony until your hand heals and the tractors are ready. So today I'm going to attempt one-handed to do all of that in like two hours before I have to leave for a doctor's appointment and then come home and edit a video and post it in time to keep up with the schedule. All right, all I need right now is a water bowl and nest boxes and hay. So I can probably forage all of that real quick. I don't know, I just, we don't have a lot of bowls and we don't have a lot of hay feeders and oh, this is gonna be awful. I wish I could just wait, but I'm really thinking strongly like I should do this right now, so that's what I'm doing. I don't even have a chance to like spray this down or anything. There's still some poop gathered in this corner that's stuck uh, and I can't like shovel it out real fast. So I'm just going to leave it and clean it up in a few days. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god. The hutch is now temporarily ready for rabbits. We've got a pile of hay, one nest box, water, Another nest box, goats eating the hay from below. At this point, the nest boxes aren't that good quality. The hutch is too drafty, the water bowl is too small, there's no good hay feeder. I still have to do some cleaning, but it is livable. If babies were to be born tonight, they would have some nest box area to be in, and then I could improve it on it later. So this is the best I can do at the moment, especially with just one hand.
Okay, Miss Mommy. She is so chunky. Look at the chunksters. I apologize, Mama. I am so sorry. This is better for your health and your baby's health long term, though. But you're gonna be real sad. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's get Zuzu now. What do you think, girls? What are you thinking, huh? I see you like your nest box. What about you, Zuzu? What do you think? It's weird, huh? Especially with goats underneath. That's one of the things I'm gonna try to fix. Doesn't she look so healthy and fat? Her fur is really nice. If we kept her in the colony for a long time, she might have gotten sick again, I guess. Hey! Hey, no! Stop it! You're cute, but not that cute. I'm trying to film. This next one's gonna be real easy. I just have to plop a girl in with a sterling. He's already in the tractor. He's not in the best spot. We're gonna eventually move him, but he's okay for now. And having a doe with him will also be okay for now. And that's what we're going for, is just temporary okayness. Okay, kitty cat. You ready? Ready to move in with your friend? Are you ready, sir? Oh, I bet you are. Here you go. Okay, now it's time for the twins. Come here, girly. Oh, scary, I know, I know. Let's see if we can do it two at once this time. What am I doing to all your friends, Izzy? Oi! Oh, I know it's scary, I know it's scary. You'll run away. Oh! Mm. <laughs> we'll get her next time, it's fine. Or, yes. I got you. Back in you go. <laughs> she pricked my finger. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is so heavy. So, I split the Angora cage in half. Well, kind of a half. So, now these girls are going to temporarily go in half of a cage. One. Come on, girl. And two. There you go, big mommy. Oh, Sylvan's excited. What do you think? You have new girlfriends? Jolty's jealous. She's like, oh, but I'm your girlfriend. There you go, girls. Water. Hey, one nest box. I'm going to use the red carrier as the second nest box, but I'm still using that. So after I'm done putting the other rabbits in their tractor, I'll put that in here. Okay, this monstrosity is the last enclosure. We've got shelter, a nest box, water, hay, and it's kind of falling apart, but it's gonna probably work for now. I'm gonna put it up on cinder blocks later and do all that important stuff, but it is livable now. So all I have left to do is grab the last two rabbits out of the colony, put them in here, then take the carrier and put that in with the twins as a nest box. Okay guys, are you ready? Oh, look at Constance. She's having a pregnancy nap. She's all resting and big and bulky and tired looking. That's so good. Thank you. Thank you, good boy. Oy. Okay. The battery's almost out, so I'll see how much more I can film, but in you go. They're both way back in the back. What do you guys think? You used to live in this tractor a while ago. Do you remember it? Do you like your big nest box, Constance? You gonna have babies in there? Yeah. So the last clip you saw was yesterday. It's now the next day. And all of the former colony rabbits are slowly settling in to their new housing. Most of them don't like it very much. And some are adjusting less well than others. But for the most part, everything is going okay. We have had no babies yet, thankfully, 
Hopefully they continue to hold off for a few days so they can adjust more and more and de-stress more and more before they go through the huge stress of giving birth. For the time and capability and materials I had at my disposal, I'm very pleased with the results we have. Obviously, none of the setups are ideal, and as soon as my hand is better, I'm planning on fixing up the other two tractors and getting everyone in their better, more permanent setups. But I still probably have a few days, at least, of healing to go. So for a while, I'm still forced to sit back and relax and not overwork my hand and wait for some of these super pregnant rabbits to pop out some babies and hopefully catch it on camera. Thanks for watching!